God is good. And all the time. I sincerely want to thank each one of you for making time to come and condole with us. At this point, allow me to read my tribute to my beloved mom. When I saw an incoming call from dad in the early hours of Tuesday morning, I told Tabby I sensed something was wrong, but I did not expect it to be this devastating. Mom, it's impossible to accept that you have left us. For the past three days, I have been hoping to wake up in the morning and to discover that it was a bad dream. But as each day passes, the hard reality has been dawning on us as a family as we experience your loud absence. When I first met you and dad, through my lovely girlfriend then, your daughter, Tabitha Wanjiko Mohinga, I was extremely tense, as most men in this gathering would admit, while meeting their potential in-laws for the first time. You really took effort and made me comfortable, and we instantly gelled as your infectious smile was a source of joy and exuberance which lit up any room that you walked into and it will be dearly missed. You not only made me comfortable, but also my parents, Mr. and Mrs. John Meru, who are here with us. During our traditional wedding ceremonies, where you instantly connected with my mom, who you soon began calling each other Kanyanya. I'm yet to understand what that is, but that was their special bond. You became dance partners, and especially during your signature song that I want to thank Father John Kemunya has just played it today here. That was Mafataro by Ben Gedai. And you would whip everyone to the dance floor. My parents will surely miss you. On 20th December 2014, in this same church, when I married your lovely daughter, Tabitha Muhinga Kibara, who is now my wife, kindly note the upgrade from the earlier girlfriend, now to wife. I always remember how excited you were on that day, and you accepted me as your son. And true to it, and to your last breath, you would religiously and proudly make sure that the word son preceded every sentence while talking or referring to me. I even remember when I was elected as the chairman of Mathaika Golf Club, you congratulated me and called me chairman as any diligent member of a golf club would do. I found this very weird. But I was extremely happy when you immediately dropped that title of chairman and upgraded it back to son which I always and will always truly treasure. Mom, you are always my family golf play, match play partner. As you heard from my wife's tri uh, tribute, we always had a four ball, uh, which we used to play. And it was dad and Tabby against me and mom. And for sure, as you heard also from Tabby's tribute, the debate on which team was superior was a common banter in the family. Based on our last match at Nyali Golf Club, I believe we thrashed our opponents, and for the golfers here, we won CT. I believe they still owe us our winnings, which I will ensure they collect, while I will take them to CRB. Unfortunately, I'm now missing a match play partner. Mom, you took very special interest in our daughter Candy's golf progress. During our last holiday at the Great Rift Valley Golf Resort in Naivasha, 
You, insta you insisted on taking Candy and I for a round of golf. Candy on that day was not really in the mood of playing golf. I'm sure you know when a kid doesn't want to do something and you force them, you know the repercussions. So uh, she wanted to stay in the house and play games with her brother. So when we played the first hole, uh, I was getting a bit impatient and frustrated as this was our first outing with you and I wanted Candy to impress her grandmother. You quickly noticed the frustration of father and daughter. And you tactfully picked Candy's golf bag, as you know, her bag was a small bag, and you self-appointed yourself as our official caddy at hole number two. True to it, Candy enjoyed her new caddy, and I was fired and demoted to a marker. In your true humility, you caddied for her the whole round, 18 holes for you golfers who know. Impressively, Candy went on to play her first Mothaiga Golf Club, Simba League, the following weekend after we left the Great Rift. And truth be told, after that ex uh, experience at the Great Rift Rivari Lodge, she came to win her first trophy, thanks to you, Mom. In retrospect, little did I know that you are very keen interest in Candy's golf skills was actually a sign to me of goodbye as, your, as my match play partner and preparing me to consider another golf match play partner. A bit on politics, we went on ground on Kipipiri, in Kipipiri on numerous occasions for campaigns and those from Kipipiri would attest, you always had your own Jeshi Yamama, who were extremely loyal and always made us feel safe. Your mobilization skills are second to none. Mom, you're a natural and gifted politician. Having run campaigns for our beloved dad, you had all it took to clinch any seat. We, on several conversations, where I thought you'd one day stand for a political seat. But you always said, son, never. My work is to support your dad. And this statement confirmed what they always say. Behind every successful man, there is a woman. Mom, we, you are the greatest supporter, mentor, cheerleader, intercensor, most of all, the matriarch of our family, as you held our family together. My promise to you today is to be strong for Dad and Tabby and the grandkids and be the pillar and shoulder for them to lean on. The only way I can keep your legacy and memory is to pay back the debt of becoming a better person and an excellent parent to your grandchildren as you watch over me from the highest heaven where you are resting next to the Lord whom you served so well. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on her. May her, rose rest, uh, her soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. So thank you so much, Ron and uh, Tabby and the children.